Hello, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Animation Series, you will learn how to create animated pyramid diagram in PowerPoint. The diagram you will learn to create looks like this. On click, you have the bottom layer uh, appearing. We actually have five levels in this pyramid. The first level comes on a click. Then we have the second level coming. And then we have the third, fourth, and the final level. The diagram not only depicts five levels, but also shows that these five levels are connected. It also gives you a 3D illusion because of the light and shade. Let us see how to create this beautiful pyramid diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. I am going to create just a three level pyramid to save time and to keep this tutorial fairly short. First, let us create the pyramid for which let me go to basic shapes in auto shapes menu and pick up this particular tool called as isosceles triangle and while holding the shift tab, I'm going to draw the isosceles triangle. Next, we need to divide this into three segments. So I'm going to use a rectangle shape from auto shapes menu under the rectangles option here and I'm going to draw the rectangle here. While holding the control button, I'm going to drag this rectangle to a new position. This creates a duplicate of the rectangle and here we have three levels if we are able to cut these levels down. So let me move this slightly down so that it's that much more um, correct. The way I'm going to cut this into three pieces is by selecting all the pieces here and I'm going to use an option in PowerPoint 2013 which is under format in the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon under merge shapes and the tool is called as fragment tool. I'm going to click on fragment shapes. As I do that, the entire diagram now is fragmented into individual pieces and this allows me to delete the pieces I don't want. So there I am selecting those pieces and I have removed them. Now this creates a three level pyramid. The next step is to show that they are connected or as if they are made out of a strip of paper or a strip of foil for which I am going to use this one under lines called as freeform shape, freeform tool. I click on it. Now I'm going to connect this bottom uh, edge with the bottom edge here. And to make it easy for you to observe, I'm going to zoom a little bit. So you can clearly see what I'm doing. Here I have the bottom edge. I click on it. Then I click on the bottom edge of the next level. Then I click on the top edge of the next of that level and then click on the top edge of the bottom level and then I complete the shape by clicking on the starting point and there the shape is created. Now I want this to go behind so right click and send to back. Since this is going to be at the back, naturally it has to have a darker color than this blue. So I'm going to choose this color, which happens to be dark blue text to darker 50%. So I click on that one. Now I have created the first level. The next one, I'm going to do the same. Once again, I take the freeform tool. Bottom corresponds with the bottom here. And if you observe, you will not be able to have that to the apex. So I'm going to go till only the halfway here and I'm going to click on the top and then I, I click on the starting point to complete the shape. I send it back and I give it the dark color. And when I resume back the shape that is fit slide to current window, I click on that option and I have the pyramid created. The next step is to animate the pyramid. The first is I'm going to take the bottom level and the animation I'm going to use is called as wipe 
entrance animation so I click on wipe and I don't want it to come from wipe from the bottom I'm going to use the direction as from left so this wipes from left let us open the animation pane so that you can observe what I do so I'm going to click on this so I keep the animation pane open here the next step is I want to have this one which is the darker portion at the back to wipe from right so wipe from right and this will be immediately followed by the next level wiping from left and this we will show as after previous so as you can see here on first click I have this one coming and on the next click I have this one coming and that followed by the second level we will do the same for the next one as well so I want to have this wiping from right to left and this one wiping from left and that happens as we did earlier after previous so that is how it is now let us go to slideshow and let us see how it goes on one click I have the bottom level coming and on the next click I have the second level coming and on the next click I have the third level coming now all that is left for you to do is to write the relevant text in these three levels to complete your animated pyramid diagram so that is how you create animated pyramid diagram and this is a diagram that is used to show the concept of growth or progress I want to show you other ways by which you can show the concept of growth or progress and I'm going to take some example templates taken from our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates pack uh, in presentation process and let me show you those um, examples this is the one that we created the next one and this is about concentric growth because it is not necessary that the growth always happens at levels from bottom to up now we are going to show you how to show concentric growth this is about the before scenario you can replace the sample text with your text and on the next click we have on each you can see how the various layers keep forming and this shows concentric growth and this is the after scenario you can use this particular template to show how an organization has grown to its current size from its earlier situation or how different departments have grown or how our service offering has widened and things like that let me show you another example this is a metaphor that we have taken which is of growing from a seed to tree this again can be used to depict the concept of growth be it of an organization of a department of an individual of, of various things the first click brings out the the seed with its animation associated text then the seed becomes a sapling then you talk about the initial stage and then on click we have the tree forming in its full glory and then we talk about the final stage and here you have um, the sample text which can be replaced with your own text that explains this whole process let me show you another example here we are talking about how the inputs at various stages have contributed to growth first we talk about the initial stage then this is the input which caused the growth to the second stage and then another input comes in which grows to the third stage and so on so here we can talk about how a business has grown maybe because of uh, new funding by various uh, venture capitals uh, venture capitalists and things like that so you, you can use this for various other concepts of growth because of inputs during the ongoing stages so those are some examples uh, we would like to we have shown you from our uh, 630 plus advanced custom animation templates pack uh, the pack has more than 630 ready-made templates which are already animated so that you just need to pick up the template that matches your thought replace the sample text and your business slides get ready in no time because if you were to create these templates by yourself then you will have to spend a lot of time trying to make sure that you select the right animation ensure that the timing is correct and then the order is correct and things like that which is better left to uh, off-the-shelf solutions like this because you will save a whole lot of time 
Hope you liked our tutorial on creating animated pyramid diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials or if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.